Try Waco. The Greater Waco Chamber of Commerce's annual Olympic and Sprint Distance Triathlon will begin at 6.30 a.m. on Sunday, July 9th at Indian Spring Park. Over 900 participants are expected for this event. The race starts with a point-to-point open water swim in the Brazos River, followed by a flat and fast bike ride on the spectator-friendly roads near the river and finishes with a run along the Brazos River through Cameron Park, finishing on the famous suspension bridge. Tri Waco will again include relay options as well as the aqua bike races. Online registration is open through Friday, July 7, 2023 at triwaco.org. The Tri Waco Triathlon is presented by Bicycle World. Again, online registration is open through Friday, July 7, 2023 at triwaco.org. This podcast contains adult themes, sexual content, and strong language. If you can't handle that, you should probably leave. Hi, and welcome to Bustles and Bangers with your hostess, Rachel and Christopher. I love it when you say my name. <laughs> yes like i'm really like i have a goal in life i need to punch somebody before i die you never punch somebody dude you hit me nope that was a slap and i'm talking an angry or defensive punch oh like a territorial fight it can't be hey i'm allowing you to punch me it can't be silly like goofy you want to get blah, a fight blah. then i need to hit somebody and you know who I want to hit right now? Tell me. This guy in the Mother book. Motherfucking <laughs> Joseph McFaber, a.k.a. Jake Edwards. A.k.a. the fucking pussy of the book. Like, <laughs> the book pussy. The book pussy. Like, I'm so mad at him. And I hate it because, like, they seem like big, <laughs> tough, mean, strong guys. But that makes them the pussy. Like, I hate him. <laughs> I think I'm getting, like... I'm trauma dumping. Sorry, everybody. So anyway, welcome. Yeah, to you need to calm down. We're, welcome, we're starting over. Welcome. This is a two-parter. To another episode of Muzzle and Bangers. This is going to be a quick this episode. This is the angriest episode. This is a 13-minute quick, quick, yeah. quick episode. So anyway, we are uh, reading. This is our fourth installment of Hoodwinked mm. by Diana Palmer. I hate you, by the way. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> Your sexual fantasies are tearing us apart. Fuck you. We, right. We're having marital fights over this. <laughs> no, we're not. But we are fighting about Jake Edwards and Maureen being a stupid cunt. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said it. I think that I only have two chapters to read you right now. I hope now. they're short. Mm. Let's just get right into it. I don't know how much more of this guy I can take. None. I'm going to punch him in the dick. Jake's trip to Chicago lasted one day longer than he'd expected. It was Saturday morning, five days after the wedding, and Maureen was waiting for Harry to pick her up in the rolls as Jake had arranged by phone and take her to the airport to meet (laughs) Jake's plane. He arranged it by phone. This is why, because normally we do recaps, this is why there's no fucking recap. (laughs) That one sentence took took it for all we did. That's it, all right, the book's over. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> they lived happily ever after. Mm. <laughs> Harry, the disgruntled employee he was, turned around, looked her dead in the eye, struck a match, and lit it on fire. She didn't know that the backseat oh had been God. laced in kerosene. Yeah. He got his revenge as a car exploded, splattering her and what the fuck is his name? Jake. Jake's Joseph. child all over the place. Mm. It's horrible. Well, unborn. 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 You know, keep we, it classy. We got to keep it a little. Mike, maybe. Pre-abortion. <laughs> Pre, keep it pre-abortion. <laughs> that's, that's the only okay timeline. Man, I think Jake doesn't. I think Harry's going to have something to say. About Harry's, him. look, I have I have not mentioned Harry because Harry's fine through all this. He's just a fucking driver. He goes to the pub afterwards, drinks his beer, fucks Talks a hooker. Talks about his asshole boss. He's though. got a great apartment with He got this views. girl pregnant trying to make me set her on fire. He does not give a fuck. Harry's probably like part of a mob family, to be honest. And he's just like, I do this as a cover. I don't give a shit. I drive around. I do my drug deals. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Deals dope out of a limo all day. Hell yeah, dude. Reg waits for a call. Like, you have to go drive the rolls over here. So he's like, oh, okay. 
Yeah, keep it classy. He's selling psychedelics out of the rolls. Out of the rolls. I mean, do they look in the trunk of your driver's car? Do you look at the fucking trunk? You're not even take. You're not even the one that puts your bag in the car. Well, technically, I guess it would be his car, right? He's got like he's not renting uh, the rolls. He's he owns got, that. Like, he's paying the driver. Semi automatic in the back. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's got like a Bond car yeah. where it pops out the side. Yeah, that'd be awesome. All right. Do you want this? I gotta be a little slow. All right. Although we're in this kind of early, and I'm very hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. Maureen felt her heart jump wildly at the sight of him. Their relationship was still new to her, despite the fact that they'd been intimate and were married. Just seeing him was enough to make her body sing. Even her mind delighted in him. He was wearing a slate gray business suit, very expensive, with a neat red and gray pinstripe tie, and he looked terribly handsome. Maureen in her soft gray dress with her hair in an elaborate chauffeur. And her face, carefully made up, felt more presentable than she'd had in a long time. But he gave her only a cursory glance, his dark eyes going past her to Harry. (laughs) You want to know what he says? Do you want to know what he says? Uh, I wish you would have dressed like that. To Harry. He's talking to Harry. (laughs) Harry, Harry, you got a match? I hope you found a space close by. I'm damn tired. Harry rolls his eyes. Then Maureen says, how are you? Or how are you? How are you? (laughs) He noticed that and hated the way things had gone between them. He wished he'd never spoken to her so coldly the day he'd left for Chicago. He should have taken her Mm -hmm, Uh with him and tried to make up to her for leaving her practically at the altar and take care of business. Looking back, he knew he'd made a monumental mistake in tactics. <clears throat> she was going to be uneasy and distrustful of him now from now on. And it was all his <laughs> own fault. <laughs> the in whole fact, relationship was built on a lie. Yeah, he'd been miserable <clears throat> the whole time he'd been gone. He'd missed her terribly during the past few days. And all his regrets were sitting on his broad shoulders as he looked, as he looked down on her pale, miserable face. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> He'd bullied her into marriage without giving her time to get her breath and then expected her to go on as if nothing had happened. He yes, hadn't he even did. kissed her goodbye, much less made love to her. Uh, it's his wife now. He's just like, okay, bye. This guy. I don't like him. <clears throat> so <clears throat> he says, how am I? I'm tired, <laughs> but I'm all right. How about you? I'm fine, too. He shifted, wishing he'd had the right words to undo the damage he'd done. Shut the fuck up. Sit down. Say, hey, I fucked up he won't. royally. I'm so no. sorry. I'm going to work he on did. my behavior. And then He's going to look at her and be like, I, I wish you would have acted different this whole time. Mm, his big hand reached out and touched her cheek lightly. Suppose <sighs> you and I go look for a house today. She hesitated. She wasn't sure whether or not they had a future Already together. A house. But at least it was kind of peace offering. It might get them on a better footing. All right. But she backed away because the feel of his fingers on her soft skin was disturbing. Mm-hmm. This word. I don't even know this guy. The word disturbing has been mentioned over and over again. Yeah, this guy's a weirdo. This is not my kind of disturbing. My kind of disturbing is having like fantasies about horror movie character villains. Mm-mm. like Not this one. It's just being married to a narcissist. I hate it. Not even married to. You just met him. You just met a narcissist. And this happened. Please bash me on the head with this bottle of tequila. Smash it over my head. All right. And then everybody's just like, oh, it's so adorable. Look at him go. He misread that move and dropped his hand without making an issue of her withdrawal. She was entitled, he thought bitterly. His face closed up. We'll swing by the office, he said as he started back down the crowded walkway. I have to leave some papers there. She felt driven to try to calm the atmosphere between them. What kind of house do you want, she asked. Okay. (laughs) He shrugged. Something with doors and windows, I suppose. And a kitchen. I can cook, This, this is a dude you let impregnate you. Oh, <laughs> well, you guys. You guys. This is supposed to be a book you read to get horny. This is making me depressed. This is a book you're supposed to read to get horny and then make yourself come. That is literally the purpose of the book. And this is what we are fucking reading. We should write a book. We should write a sexy book. It's going to be two minutes long. It's going to get straight to the point. <laughs> I know, but everybody that reads amazing. it will come. <laughs> to read the read, book Read it and they will come. <laughs> <laughs> write it and they will come. Hell it yeah, is dude. written. 
<laughs> All right. So you won't. I told you I want a French chef. He glanced at her. A house the size we're going to buy will be too much for you by yourself. You'll find things to do before you know it. All your days will be full. How does he know this? He's never been married. He's never had a wife. He's barely had a family. He watches a lot of TV. Mm. This guy. The Bachelorette. That soda is disgusting. <laughs> Don't ever get diet again, y'all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you. <laughs> Thanks for providing things without me having to pay for them. I'm sorry. I love you. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty bougie sometimes. I, the book's about these billionaires. Yeah, we're asking. <laughs> books. Billionaire books. Billionaire books. All right. It's driving me crazy. It's, it's getting we're me. Taking, uh, we're taking free soda mm. from the producer's <laughs> office. <laughs> and then I'm bitching about it. <laughs> Uh, Why do people like us? They don't, man. Oh my God! Yes, they do. You I guys, know it's crazy. I don't know why. But I love y'all back for real. We for make real. really bad jokes. We should probably be canceled. No, you, yeah. I should be promoted. <laughs> yeah, you should <laughs> to be like promoted. the coolest podcast ever. All right, so <laughs> for real, share this with your friends and family and your priests. Yeah, why <laughs> let, not? Let them know to follow motherfucking Bustles and Bangers because we're the coolest. All right, so anyway, enough, uh, whatever the word is, fuck it. All right, she pushed back a strand of loose hair. Product placement? Is that the word I was thinking of? I don't know. McDonald's hadn't been mentioned in a minute. Stop! I'm surprised because at the beginning of the book, it was littered in there. If we beat, if they beep this out, it's always going to sound so funny because nobody's going to know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know. I, I think it would be funny if I we think, just started bleeping random words. I think we should only be bleeped. And don't then people you, will be like, what the hell are they talking about? Don't you about? dare cut and crop. You just bleep only. Like, we should have a random one, and then everybody just bust out laughing. Oh, we'll have Mike yeah. laughing. We'll laugh. Yeah. We'll get people in the hallway and to laugh. And people will be like, what? And then, and then just never... Yeah. What were they talking about? I gotta know. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But you have to bleep something right before that. <laughs> All right. So back to the book. Back to the motherfucking book. Mm, she put. She pushed back a strand of loose hair. So I'm going to be a figurehead. Is that right? A decorative item. Fine. <laughs> like, no, you're gonna be under the desk. Are you kidding? Ooh. I, mm. You misread. You misread <clears> your situation. That's getting me a little bit going. I felt a mood other than mad just oh, now. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I'm going to be, oh, we already said that. Then you can buy me a new wardrobe and have my hair styled and, oh, hell, that isn't what I meant at all. But if you want a wardrobe, go and buy one. You can have the charge card whenever you want it. She said, and furthermore, I'm not giving up my job. I beg your pardon. I like being a secretary. You won't intimidate me by glaring at me, she returned. I won't quit my job. If you won't let me be a wife, I'll be a career woman. You can't manage a house the size of the one I'm going to buy all by yourself. Watch me. Either you let me do it or so help me, I'll keep working and I won't live with you. He took a slow breath. You're a first class pain in the neck. Look who's talking, he glared and she stared back. Neither of them gave an inch until mm. the absurdity of the situation got through to Jake and he started chuckling. She was spirited. He hadn't realized that she had a temper because until now she had been rather shy and withdrawn. Because they met six days ago. Mm, with him most of the time. But spirited wasn't a drawback. It was more like a bonus. She might manage to fit into his world after all sh if she had spunk. You needn't laugh at me, she spunk? retorted. Mm. I have spunk. Mm. He shot spunk all I'm going to throw some spunk around later. <laughs> it's <Like>. spunky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing. Not quite anyway. He pursed his chiseled lips and stared chiseled down lips. at her. Okay, try keeping the house by yourself. And if that's how you want it, we'll see if you can manage. <laughs> I'll Fine, do, bitch, do it yourself. Well. I like cooking and cleaning. I'll remind you that you said that he mused and started walking again. She was used to the. He's small gonna apartment. go through there like the Hulk and just tear shit mm. apart in the house. Doorknobs, mm -hmm. fucking AC vents, you. windows, closet mm -hmm. hangers, anything. The entire ten foot. Not cleaning it up. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then she's gonna be like, "Oh, he beat around here like a <laughs> like an animal, like a bull." My pants aren't so they're just soaking wet anyway if we had a house full of help you'd have to buy me a gong isn't that what society hostesses use to ring for each course she smiled to herself i'd rather have a tuba and start my own tradition 
Maureen, Yawn. you're yeah. being a little dramatic. Yeah. Oh my God. And that was shut the fuck up and and like I don't go think... buy yourself some caviar. Yeah, that was a weird hill to try and die on. Mm. Harry drove them around the best residential areas and passed several for sale signs until one caught Jake's eye and he had Harry stop in front of a two story gray marble house. Ew. <laughs> I was gonna say that sounds boring. It was set on beautifully landscaped. It's made landscaped. out of gray marbles. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Looks like a hobbit house. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Ten bedrooms at least and servants' quarters out back, if I'm oh not mistaken. Oh, my God. I servants' kick, quarters out you back? You guys, I want to kick this chair, throw it through that window on the door, and burn <laughs> this book. Oh, my God. I'm Holy so shit. angry. I hate this. I hate this. You got me going for a second. <laughs> that, when you said spoke... all the servants are lined out like mm. fucking horses, and they close their gate and give them a bag of <laughs> oats. <laughs> <laughs> Frau Bluch. We call them servants. <laughs> The house was very nice. She knew this section of Wichita. Oh. Uh, and it was where the wealthy lived. Dirt, ten houses with servants' quarters. We you have fucking... a fancy party to go to tomorrow. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, my God. It's kind of going to look like this. It'll be like, well, here's the servants' quarters. <laughs> No, I was like, absolutely. Do they know who they're fucking inviting? No, nope. going. They have no idea. What's up, bitches? We're even gonna disguise ourselves as I'm one of them. Eat so many hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my so god. Stupid. I'm gonna take an entire platter. Do you bet me? I'm gonna bring a ziploc and just. Start. Do you bet me? I'll, I'll just take this. Thank you. No, that's blowfish. One of those will kill you. <laughs> We're eating them all. A bitch, don't tell me what I can do by the end of the party. Like somebody's gotta hit me with an. Epi <laughs> um, this picante sauce had peanuts they're, in it. They're eating floor cheese. We can't help it. Uh, uh, all right. Yeah, y'all don't know who y'all are letting in the door. Mm. So what happens when you invite everybody in a group? You don't know who's in that group? All right. I, I mean, can't wait. It's going to be so exciting. Your wives, dude. Oh, my God. I love wives. <laughs> <laughs> or girlfriends. Whatever. If you're a guy and you've got a girl, I want her and I will have her. <laughs> Absolutely. And not in a way that you're going to find enjoyable. No, I mean, Because you first, probably won't be present for much of it. No, you'll be like, why does she keep taking her to the balcony of, the balcony of that hotel room and I can't mm-hmm. access? Oh, no, it wasn't a hotel room. It was like a staircase. We found a fucking balcony on a staircase in a hotel. We could have gotten locked out. I didn't have my phone. It was so good. She was standing up back in. Oh wait, was I standing up first back in? I don't hole? know. Was it there? I can't remember. I think we switched. So one of us was standing, and then the other one was down on the knees. It was so good. Oh my god. The things that have happened to me are sexy as fuck. <laughs> no idea. Okay. Anyway, mm, sorry. I'm glad you lived that good life, girl. Mm, only because you're so wonderful. Oh, when stop I get it! To. Stop it! It's a podcast. You're such a wonderful husband. No, stop it. Oh, all right. Sorry. The house was very nice. <laughs> Ten bedroom fucking. Mm. She was used to a secretary's paycheck and living on a shoestring. Just the thought of high society entertaining gave her hives. Me too. But she could do it. <laughs> she had to. You need to check your bed Me books. too. <laughs> gave you hives? The success of their marriage would depend on her adjusting to his way of life. She looked up at him as they stood in the foyer with the real estate agent, a very sophisticated redhead who, who seemed awed by Jake's good looks and take charge manner. You know, those motherfuckers fucked in the laundry room while she was Ten wandering the yard. While she's in there. Having her monologue to herself, yes. talking to herself, slamming it. Jake's baby. in there with his dick in her throat, and he's going, oh, oh, "Stop my it!" My God. wife's in the other room. No, he didn't say stop it. No, he did not he said, Hurry say up. stop it. Yeah. Hurry up! My wife's in the other room. She knows. And she that, goes, though. "If you want to buy this house, you're gonna." No, he's like, "If you want me to buy this, yeah, house. that's it. That's she's what she the said. She's the one he who's beige because this real estate agent is it. not wealthy. No." Maybe. No, no. Not entire not his standard like no, like wealthy. Not. Not she's not buying status. these houses, she's selling the house. Exactly. She needs the sale. He don't need shit. Yeah. So, so she's speaking of his fucking spunk. Dick. 
Yeah. She took it. Ugh. And see, she can't get pregnant. There's no tie, you know, because it mm. was a BJ mm-hmm. only. She says, sign here. Mm. She's like wiping the corner of her mouth. Oh, oh, my God. Do I get paid now or later? Oh, my God. You got paid already, <laughs> bitch. Shut the fuck up and sit down. All right. So anyway, we're not nice people. <laughs> you might not want to date us. And like, this, uh, unless you, know you like us slapping smell you out around narcissists? a bit. We are, we are them. Narcissists. Oh my god! These books are really reflective on our own behavior. Sometimes <sighs> that's why it pisses us off. I try to be better. I could be good to a girl if a girl wanted to be be with me. No, stop I it. I could. No, you couldn't. Shut up. Let me. They're so <laughs> soft and pretty. Yeah, <laughs> they they all of them. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so, I think I need a girlfriend. What were you picturing, Maureen? He asked suddenly. She sighed, still looking at the fireplace without weighing the... Di- yep. <laughs> the wisdom of the answer that came immediately to her tongue. Oh, I was thinking about children. That was, yeah, the wisdom there. You never had a kid, huh? No, she hasn't. She was a virgin until him. Oh, my God. Ew. Like, ew. How stop. does she even know it was good, then? You got nothing to compare Ugh. it to. And, like, stop going straight to fucking kids. Man, like, fuck around a bit. you only watch one TV bit. show. How Be do like, you know what you oh, like? I was just thinking of an orgy. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering what all of his friends would do to me in one of these nine I'm extra just, bedrooms. Yeah, like, I don't even know what 69 is yet. I'm just wondering what that's like. Wait, what's the... I wonder what it would feel like if you put it in my butt. <laughs> All right. So where the kids don't get created. All right. <laughs> oh, I was thinking about children. Maureen turned, stunned by the agent's quick change in attitude. Her eyes met Jake's, and she felt the impact of his stare right through her. Those dark eyes went to her stomach, and she realized belatedly what he was thinking. She he was going to impregnate the real estate agent. She, she flushed, and one quick jerk of her head told him what he wanted to know. Something seemed to flicker and die in his dark eyes. He shrugged and turned back to the hall. Oh, she changed him. His heart just... It was like the Grinch. His mm. heart just exploded for the Who people. At the end of the tour, Jake said tersely. 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 Don't know how to do that. That they take <laughs> the house. I want to tell you tersely. Mike was tersely, man. I know. We need like a constant on board. Okay. Uh, like we're very direct. Just say matter of factly. Tersely. For us basic folk. You're writing these books for basic folk. You're making up words and in there's front no of basic way more, folk. And this is all coming. I, uh, yeah, yes, I guess. It confuses me. It makes me feel stupid. Tersely. It makes me feel dumb. All right. So he caught her arm. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Let me back up. At the end of the tour, he caught her arm like he's like got a fishing net. <laughs> I got it. All right, sorry. Jake said tersely that they take the house without even consulting Maureen. Tersely take the house. Don't consult Maureen. Is tersely a person? <laughs> Tersley's my favorite character. I'm gonna get a hamster and name it Tersley. Give it a top hat. <laughs> it's my driver. <laughs> yeah, Tersley's my driver. <laughs> All right, which did absolutely <laughs> nothing to melt the ice that was growing between them. Oh. All the way back to her apartment. It's a fucking duplex. She <laughs> smoldered. It's almost worse when you say duplex. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it sounds poor. <laughs> yeah. By the time they reached it, she was all but boiling over. Jake took the bag from Harry and sent him off. Then he turned to Maureen as she started cold. Yep, started coldly toward her own apartment. Like hell you do. Like he said hell shortly. you do. He caught her arm, leaving his luggage under the carport. And <laughs> you have a carport. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're poor. You have a carport. You don't have a garage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And he held her and he and held on to her while he unlocked the door of his apartment and pulled her inside. Would you mind telling me? Oh. He cut her off with the hard pressure of his mouth. While he kissed her, his hand reached behind the lock. Man, y'all, I'm fucked up. <laughs> While he, his hand reached behind the lock. 
Man, they're really getting you with the words today. Do you want me to read the rest of it? <laughs> no, uh, we've been there before. No, hold on, I got it's real this. Slow. <laughs> His hand reached behind to lock the door. I thought they were outside in a carport. <laughs> they, Is he locking her in the carport? He's inside now. How do you lock somebody in a carport? <laughs> they're inside now. It's the port you stick the car in, you know. <laughs> then she was up in his arms and he was carrying her. Heaven, he breathed against her trembling mouth. Oh, God, it's sheer heaven. She felt that way, too, but she didn't have enough breath to say it. He tossed her roughly into the middle of his bed and looked down at her while his hands went slowly to the buttons of his jacket. She lay looking up at him, half dazed. It had all happened <laughs> See, so she suddenly. She DDT'd her onto the bed. <laughs> she turned over. What happened? Oh, no. I needed you to be half conscious for this because that's how I like my women. Are you showing me my place? <laughs> she asked quietly, is this where I'm going to fit into your life? I was showing life? you the DDT is from Diamond Dallas Page. <laughs> Pleasant, di- lay you out. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasant diversion between business deals and office work. His big hands stilled on his shirt buttons. He stared down at her with quiet eyes. You haven't forgotten what I said to you before I left. Isn't it likely that I could? Oh. It isn't I'm not really a millionaire. I don't really own the company. Forget it all. It isn't likely that I could, she replied. Go ahead if you want me. I'm your wife. This is my duty, and I'll do it. Oh. I can't wait to do my Boring. duty for you later. Yeah, but don't say yeah. it like that. I'm here to do my wifely duty. Well, maybe I, do I might be hot. It. Hold I on. Do. Try it. I'm here to... Wait. No, stop you? it. I don't know. Redo. <laughs> it's because I'm being fake. I'm reading the <laughs> yeah, book. Yeah, stop it. I want to talk to you, huh? I can't wait to serve you. Oh, that's, yeah. All right, so Ooh, see? It jumped a little bit. See? I Time can get stopped. you going, too. Oh, Time stopped. I got many voices. Mm, I can love her, 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 her. That's Jake. I throw dollars at her when she services Dude, me. Dude, do you want to do that tonight? That would be fun. But I keep the dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I need them. <laughs> Wait, uh, I need these. I need, <laughs> I need to upgrade my carport. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put siding on it. <laughs> it's so this plywood cool. fucking nail down. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! I love it. All right. That's how, that's how we're supposed to. Live. Oh my god! Not like this. He groaned out. Ground out. Ground he, out. He ground out. <laughs> like a baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make sex into a business arrangement. I'll see you at 4.30. Why don't you get an annulment? I'm not pregnant, so you don't have to worry about a child. We can go our own ways with no damage done, and next time you can marry someone who suits you better. He didn't know what to say. He felt helpless, which I've never been rejected. I'm a narcissist. There's no way I'm letting you go. Well, hear this. He felt helpless, which made him angry. Yeah. Oh, you're mad. No. If you get get mad... Get back here, lady! If you get mad because you feel helpless... You're a big, whiny baby man. <laughs> yeah, you're a big and child baby. broke boys don't deserve no pussy. Well, he's not broke. He's, he's got all the money. He's broke in the emotional department. Oh, yeah, you're emotionally broke, dude. Emotionally messed up dudes don't deserve it. All right. So, <laughs> he, they go. Spiritual suicide is really the mm, way to go. They are arguing. Okay. As they do. No, you are. <laughs> he came closer. No. You're arguing. No, you're arguing. Because they're yeah. Because he's like you're twisting it. No, you are. He came closer, kneeling just in front of her, one big hand on her thigh. Oh, oh it's like swollen. <laughs> yeah, he's holding her. <laughs> but the other hand, Dude. the other big hand's reared back. Uh, you better agree with me. I did have a guy that kind of gave me a little punch in the thigh one time when we were at a pool hall, and I was pregnant. Did you headbutt him. <sighs> oh yeah, what? Uh huh. Stayed in the relationship until we mutually broke up and we both cried about it. <laughs> and I found out he was on meth. Y'all are sissy girls, <laughs> both of y'all. Sorry, I was a big wiener. There was some uh, hormones involved. <clears throat> they were dealing with that shit. Look, I wasn't a strong woman until I got with you. I will admit that openly on this podcast. I was not a strong, independent woman until I got with you. And now, like, shit can't fuck with me. I will miss you, but, like, also, no, I love you, right. but fuck you. <laughs> so, like, I know I'm hard to deal with. I'm sorry, but thank you for making helping me like become oh, yeah. my better me. I'm glad I turned you into a narcissist, mm, my love. Yep, a strong, independent a one. A strong one, <laughs> independent one. <laughs> I was probably beforehand, but and now. if I try and walk away after an argument, she grabs Hell me. Hell no! See? Where the fuck? I always ask you, <laughs> where, where are you, are you going? going? Like I'm using Grabbing the bathroom. My wrist pulls me back. Like I'm, I'm using the bathroom. You accidentally walk in. You leave. I'm like, where the fuck are you going? She hit hits you? me. <laughs> 
I tell people all the time, and nobody ever believes me. Now I'm on an open air true. in front of a microphone. It's not true. I deny everything. And my wife. <laughs> Baby, beats me but up. only when it's sexy. I'm in, I am literally in a wrist <laughs> race <know>. right now. <laughs> you know what? That is what I thought as soon as we walk in. I said, Oh my God, this is the perfect day for the joke. And I forgot <clears throat> to mention it till just now. I'm going to take a shot on that. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Man, you took half a shot. That diet soda's not going to help. I'm a pussy. <laughs> I, I have what I have. I have I, I what, what I, I have. <laughs> I am what I am. I, I am what I eat. Mm. Mm. I think I need something extra tasty in my life. You're delicious, but I need something extra. Oh, I'm not good enough now. I said you're delicious, but I need something extra. No, what do you need? Don't you need some extra? Stop mentioning them. Need a chicken sandwich? Yeah, you're gonna feed me. Fuck that eating at home. What do you need? You want a girlfriend? Yeah, you've been saying that. Get one. I know. I've been. Well, I dreamed about it, so now it's like destiny. Dude, I just want—I just want a girl with long hair to go down on me. All right, so uh, she's back at this whole. But you don't love me. For a man, wanting sometimes comes first. It's the way we're made. Again, I want to walk off from this book, Diana Palmer. You are. <sighs> You're bad influence. I think maybe on women. This is like the boys will be boys. I I am. So... Are you gonna cry? I think <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> so I'm so mad Dude, and you know sad. what tears is, do to me? I can't I see know, this right now. I know, and I'm like all sorts of inebriated. <laughs> well, I got a, I, I got all of it in my system. <laughs> I have all of it in my system. Yeah, you completed a trifecta today, didn't God, you? God, I did, and I'm gonna do more. <laughs> so well. anyway, I'm real mad. Will you please treat me good tonight? Because I'm having such PTSD. It's insane. <laughs> I'm so angry and sad. Oh, my God. I really might cry. <clears throat> I think we might have to sue Diana Palmer for, I'm like, really, a pain and suffering. I'm going to vomit. <laughs> like, it's making me so mad. You want me just to... Okay. He, yeah. Sir, for a man wanting sometimes... This looks like you have a I lot left to go. I can't read this. I can't read this. You want me just as badly. I can hear your breathing change when I touch you. Yes, but but what? Your cigarette. To hell with the cigarette. She's like, no, I don't like the cigarette. <laughs> All right. Somewhere along the way, the cigarette wound up in an ashtray and their clothing scattered from the bed to the floor. Maureen felt his skin. <laughs> from, the, from the wall. <laughs> <laughs> to the window. <laughs> Maureen felt his skin brushing hers, the thick hair on his chest, abrasive on her bare breasts. His mouth... Her bare breasts? They're, oh, they're both <laughs> hairy. That's why she likes them. His mouth smoky and expertly demanding on the swelling contours of her soft lips. She clung she to him. Smelled like he tastes like a cigarette. Mm, That's what she meant to say. I don't like that anymore. Moaning softly at the things he did to her, glorying in the sweet pleasure of loving, he whispered to her graphic things, touching her in remembered ways. Oh, that's like, like my very, grandma that's very touches Greek. me. Yeah, like my <laughs> <laughs> remembered ways. Remembered ways. <laughs> How she used to <laughs> dote on me. Mm. Guiding her own hands, leading her deeper Wait, and like deeper this? into the high waves. She's guiding her back. own hands. <laughs> like her hand is oh, numb. Oh. She's like, hold on. Oh, I got this. Swipe. Swipe. Yeah. That's a weird way to say that. Okay. They might as well be licking windows. Like, he laughed roughly <laughs> watching her helpless response to him. Yeah, like this. <laughs> Feeling her nails stabbing into his hips. Her body. Dang, <laughs> what is she doing to him? Her, yeah. I didn't even think she could afford nails, but I guess now that she's a cl- woman of class. Nah, she didn't take the card. Uh, her body lift to his. I was gonna what? say I was gonna say her body lift to his fulfillment, but that's wrong. But oh. I like it better. Okay, what was her it? body lift to his as fulfillment buffeted her damp body. <laughs> I quit. That sentence didn't even sound like it made sense. Buffeted. 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 <laughs> Buffeted. <laughs> Here is a poopa platter. Mm-hmm. All right. No, I'm so angry at this book. I hate it so much. The waves, the w- <laughs> her, he, her, he, her, he watched her. Tur- 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 tersely. Tersely. <laughs> tersely. When's he coming back to the book? <laughs> he's, he's the one filming. <laughs> oh, Tersely's the camera guy. He's the narrator. <laughs> Tersely's jerking it. All right. A terser jerker. 
The waves hit him too, and he groaned and groaned, his deep voice twinning with her sharp cries as he felt the world spin off into darkness around him. They died. The only thing safe in this book is me constantly thinking about how you and I have been having sex the past couple of days. Oh, yeah? You've been blacking out? No, not blacking out. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, she's been blacking out. <laughs> then I can't remember it. Well, tell me. No, you, I just it? mean like I, when they start talking sexy, I think about our sexy. And it's the only thing safe in this book. Oh, yeah. Because I'm ref- referencing. So if I had no sexy to reference, mm-hmm. I would have already like ripped this up, fed it to a wild dog, and then wait for him to shit it out and then set it on fire. Well, quite the uh, <laughs> the plan there. Okay, all right. So come here, baby. He whispered. Come, no, he no. He said, "Come here, baby." <laughs> he gathered her to him and pillowed her head on his shuddering chest. Have mm. I don't think we've ever shuddered. Uh. <laughs> Is he a virgin too? All right. God. She says. No, sorry. He says, my God, I think I'm going to die of muscle failure. Are you all right? Muscle failure. Okay. Jake Edwards. (laughs) If I die right now, it will be all right. I love you, Jake. I'd have to be blind not to know it now. Also, I need to be front with you. My my name's Frank. (laughs) I'm Harry. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, the limo driver. (laughs) He pulls a mask off. Harry was McFaber the whole time. (laughs) Scooby-Doo, where are you? I'd have to be blind not to know it now. You don't mind? I don't mind. It just takes some getting used to, that's all. I've never been loved, not by anyone. Your yeah, par- we, we cannot tell why. Here we go. His own parents are like, fuck Here this Here we go. Guy. Your parents. Uh, why does everyone relate sex and sexy books to their parents? Like, fuck them. <laughs> like, why? I barely want the TV turned on. My dog's lucky if he's in the room. <laughs> like, <laughs> our dog does see a lot of sex. There are no pictures of our family in our bedroom. No. Why does everyone bring up their pa- I Look, here's They have the big murals the of their mom and dad over the bed here's so the that they deal. can like applaud them here's whenever the they get these going. Women, these women. You carry down the jeans, son. These people who write these books mm-hmm, tell me. need therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies... If you need help, <laughs> fucking find it. Don't read these books. I hate you. No, I'm talking to the author specifically. Her yeah. and what's her face and what's her face and the other what's her face. All the non-memorable people who wrote these narcissistic ass sexy books. That the give best me PTSD. one was the dude in the West that almost got shot at the beginning of the book. Her name was Emily. His one was, pink rose. Yeah, he did, he wasn't a narcissist, but one pink rose. Here's the reason he did why. All right. Here's the reason why I'm. I can't remember I'm his name. Bring, though, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna PTSD you a little bit. Oh, let's get sexy with it. Uh, we've read two westerns. Okay. So you have to be more specific because the second western we ever read was on our live. Oh no, I don't want to be on. That we never posted. Nope, we're never going to. I don't know. It was awful. Mike seems to think you're going to do another is live. Mike going to, you know. So maybe, just is maybe. Is this how y'all decided to pitch this to me? Nope. This, Mike has no idea well, I'm, I'm tired saying and this. drunk. I'm drunk. <laughs> My nose, does your nose get numb and your tongue get wobbly? No, that's because of the trifecta. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh. My tongue and everything, you know, gets wobbly when I'm drunk. Maybe we should bring it back. Bring what back? I would absolutely love it if any listeners are hardcore oh, enough no, to have stuck it. through this. Find my social media, comment if you think we should go ahead. And you post already posted. The live. It, didn't I it. didn't. I posted pictures of my outfit. No, we're not posting that. Hey, can you please, for God's fucking Man, cheese finish the sake, book. Finish the make book. this OnlyFans right with me? We're not gonna fight right now. Finish this. Make book. an OnlyFans with me. No. Wait. <gasps> oh wait, no, I will do that. Please. We're not gonna. We're not gonna. Tomorrow. Post that live video tomorrow. It, help me, dude. I got a ton of shit to do tomorrow. We'll get it done. Read, lady. Can't you. You're about to hear my narcissist come out. I was adopted. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you guessed? Who the fuck guesses? That? Oh, you're oh. adopted. Your parents don't love you, and they're rich. What the fuck? Like rich people are all infertile, infertile. And f- Oh. It's because of the incest. <laughs> yeah, dude. They wanted children, or so they thought. So they adopted me from a young unwed mother whose name I never learned. When I, <clears throat> You're rich, and you're an adult. 
You never learned it. I think even you didn't, if you didn't, you were I, a baby. Like, I think you didn't ask for it. So shut the fuck up and sit down. My family's anyway, riddled with adopted people. Get over blah, 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 blah. it. He's whining, cry baby, shut up. But anyway, I know adoption's amazing. So thanks. Uh, to all we've you adopted. Out there. We've got yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah. So anyway, we just can remember, talk all the shit we want because we've we done lived it all. that life. We've done everything. We're actually good people, and that gives us the right to be bad people. <laughs> oh, all right. So <laughs> yeah, if you want to know how to be bad people. Be you gotta people. be good people, yeah. which is why I'm calling out people on throwing away trash. Yeah. It isn't trash. Give it to them. Because you fake ass. Hate Shit. It, Fakers. This stuff is still good. She couldn't quite take it all in, mm-hmm. but you inherited take the quite cor- in. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Couldn't oh quite my take it all God, in. God, babe. It, it didn't quite fit. I just had to push me. it a little bit harder. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hurry up and finish the book. Chicken sandwiches and sex. My adopted father hadn't changed his will for God alone knows what reason. My mother had an income for her lifetime, but the corporation went to me. He rolled over onto his back, magnificent in his nudity, (laughs) and laughed (laughs) coldly. I know how he felt in that moment. You can't imagine how she hated that. She couldn't get a penny out of me. She drank, and when she drank, she liked to call me and tell me what a hell I'd made out of her life when I was a child. She'd get into the damnedest messes and call me to fly overseas to get her out of them. I cursed her until I ran out of curses, until the very night she died trying to kill me. Because remember, there was a whole car accident insinuation. Anyway... Once again, Maureen. Okay, Maureen, you're a stupid little bitch because you have told him you love him like three to four times and he has not ever said it. I hate these people. That's because he doesn't love her. She lifted her hands. He loves her like he loves his couch. I thought you were going to say like beef jerky. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, seriously. like He might love beef jerky more because... I can take you or leave you. Yeah. It depends on my mood. Like my couch serves a purpose and doesn't talk to me. She lifted her hands to the back of his head, except for the child I'm going to give you nine months from today. Oh, you can see today. She breathed shakily and brought his lips over hers. He shuddered and then his arms gathered her up tightly and he gave in for the first time to the need to be loved. Maureen and Jake bought the big gray house and she did give up her job. But Mm -hmm. if Jake had thought she wouldn't be able to cope, he was wrong. She found books on hostessing and other books on estate management. She took advantage of Jake's first overseas trip to start taking the reins of the household in hand. She hired a cook, not a French chef, but a kindly retired lady with an exquisite repertoire of home cookery and a housekeeper and a maid. She employed a gardener. She went shopping for the, just the right clothes and had her hair done by an expert. The only concession she didn't make was to give up her glasses. She kept them because after so many years, she felt like she was, it was a part of her. So what you don't know, cause I might not have mentioned. He Why kept, can't you just have a smaller house and do all this shit yourself? He kept mentioning like contacts or whatever. Mr. McFabber is due home today. Isn't he Mrs. McFabber? Mrs. Candles. The cook asked. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh my God! What shall I make? Tricking, <laughs> tricking. <laughs> I want trickins. I don't know how to make that. Then you're fired. <laughs> chicken, <clears throat> chicken. My mom used to cook, cook chicken for me all the time. Listen to this though. Chicken crepes. It, why? He loves those and a potato casserole, asparagus, and a small caramel pudding for dessert. <laughs> what the? fuck do these people eat chicken (laughs) casserole is what you meant to say you idiot cheese rice chicken chicken crepes green onions you dumbass bitch (laughs) like maureen (laughs) you ordered the wrong thing (laughs) maureen had a gorgeous crepe dress to go with their chicken crepes with an overlay of hand-painted chiffon in rainbow colors. Somebody else dressed her, This though. is a runway dress. Like, get over yourself. She wore that with its billowing skirt and left her hair loose in waves that felt beautifully that fell beautifully to her shoulders. She didn't look the epitome of a sophisticated tycoon's wife, but she did look like Jake McFaber's wife. She consoled herself. He came in the door just as what she... Is, how did she know that? No. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, she never even heard about him on the news. He came in the door just as she came down the stairs, and Claire, the new maid, was quick to take his briefcase and <laughs> raincoat. Because she got finished coming right before mm. they were coming. It was coming down in buckets in New York, Jake murmured, his eyes following <laughs> the neat little maid's progress. Mm, look at mm. you, neat little maid. I always would. It's coming in New York. Yeah, I get turned on when you look at ladies. I'm like, oh, he's aroused? I'm aroused. I like ladies. Yeah. He looked up at Maureen and his lips pursed again <laughs> as his dark eyes slid over her hungrily. Are you going to be dessert? He asked huskily. No, I got you this caramel pudding. I'm breakfast, loser. If you'd rather have me than a caramel pudding with cream, she said laughing. Oh, Jake, I missed you so. <laughs> <laughs> you guys suck, mm. both of y'all. What's even happened to fucking Bagwell? He's, they ate him. That's the Jeez. chicken crepe. Uh, yeah, they forgot. But thought that was in the chicken. He starved to death. God, yeah. Ugh. I need you, Maureen. Suppose we make love on the hall table. Mrs. Candles would faint. Mrs. Who? This is a game of Clue. This is the house of Clue. Yeah. They murder each other. Mrs. Candles is our chef. <laughs> is she a French chef? She's a top-notch chef. These are the conversations I have to read in bed while I'm supposed to be getting spicy. This is <laughs> stupid. Now listen, baby. Pretty awesome. She took his hand and pulled him along. We can go to bed early, she promised, and I'll show you how much I missed you. But right now, you have to taste Mrs. Candle's crepes. <laughs> That's the end of the book. No, I'm just kidding. We also <laughs> have a gardener, and I have a new wardrobe, oh. and we're giving a dinner party next week for all your executives at the corporation. You've been a busy little bee, haven't you? Indeed I have. I've been too busy looking after the house and getting everything organized. Do you like to swim? Yes. Good. There was a sudden whoomp in the backyard. What was that? Nothing to get excited about. The, the babies are out back. All the kids are out <laughs> back having a pool party. It's just Kid, a, I've adopted 19 children. <laughs> it's just a bulldozer. Are there any more surprises in store for me, he asked. Only one little one, she said carelessly, but not right away. Do you want some potato casserole? Yes, I fucking do, Maureen. Like, God damn. <sighs> Joseph. I'm carrying your child. You're what? I'm pregnant. Surprise, gasp, how did this happen? My God, <laughs> my God. He That's says it, it twice. He says, my God, my God. And a little over six months from now, no need, he murmured against her mouth. We're going to be too busy for, oh wait, sorry. We're getting that baby out now. Wait. <laughs> We're rich, we don't have I don't to know wait. What talking about. Hold on, six months later, Joshua Blake McFavor Blake, McFavor of course, yeah. came home from the hospital in his father's arms while his mother was gently eased from the car and into in a his wheelchair. Little Armani suit for the trip inside, while the rest of us were trying to haul in <laughs> the carrier after we just had a C-section three days ago yeah. on our own. While hospitals wheeling you while out there, our piece insurance of shit baby out. daddy <laughs> barely opened a door for us. So anyway, must be fucking nice, Maureen. <laughs> But Maureen was so it's proud of the little boy that she hadn't minded the discomfort one bit. I'm so sorry it took me so long to find you, he replied, and he wasn't laughing. His eyes softened as he looked at her tired face. I've never said the words, have I? No. So after their baby was he born. He looks at the baby and says, I love you to the baby. After their baby was born, he says to this woman, he realizes I, he I like never said it. He says, not even when we made love. The one time they did it? You wouldn't have stayed with me if you hadn't cared a little, she replied oh, evasively. That's, that's a good lesson to learn. I had to learn what love was before I could feel it or express it. I learned that it's selfless. It puts others persons, <laughs> other persons... Other, other purses <laughs> ahead of... <laughs> <laughs> Your basic ass. Uh, okay. <clears throat> he lifted his dark, steady eyes to hers. Gibran said that love can't be directed, that if it finds you worthy, it directs your course. His fingers contracted around hers while her heart ran wild. Will it shock you to learn that it's been directing my course for quite some time now, Maureen? Her lips parted. It shouldn't, she confessed, but I think it does. You're so private. I love you, he said gruffly, his eyes blazing with it. Deathlessly, obsessively, I don't even know when it became love, but I know when I realized it. It was the day I came back from Chicago and you met me at the airport. 
You looked as if I'd hit you. And I felt sick at the things I'd said. I hate you, Jake. I fucking hate you. I'd missed you so terribly. Took six months to make an apology. I couldn't even six tell months you. Now? Dude, nine, practically. Uh, then we went back to my apartment after we bought a house, and I told you something I never told anyone, and then you made me wah, 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 blah, 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 blah. What? She asked worriedly. I don't know what he said. Could you please ask Mrs. Candles to stop making chicken crepes? <laughs> I don't like them. <laughs> but it's your favorite dish, she exclaimed. It was until we had it every night for two weeks, he said through his teeth. She burst out laughing. I'll save you. Don't worry. We'll never have chicken crepes again. Good. We'll have beef crepes instead. Ah, and they all laughed. Camera fade. This fucking book is over, right? He started to Damn. say something, but young Joshua moved and opened his tiny eyes, and the playful banter got lost somewhere in the wonder of two new parents looking at their infant son. Do you want to know what my note says at the end of this? I was so angry. I forgot how angry I was. Gross, lame, stupid, toxic, gay nerds, fucking rich people. <laughs> I knew the word gay was in there, too. <laughs> I knew, ah! it. I knew it. Can I? Can I just? Can I just? <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Hey, it we don't care if we get fired this time. This yeah, is horrible. It was gentle, but I kicked. This they, they locked us in this room and keep giving us shitty books to read. I want to take this chair, fold it up, and smash somebody over the head with it. That should be the premise. Mike locked us in here and he's giving us these shitty books. We have to entertain ourselves. And we're like, WWE, this bullshit. Yeah, it's like, here's a book and here's some tequila. I need a trash can and a lighter. And a microphone. Anyway, so that finalizes The Fuckery of Hoodwinked by <laughs> Diana Palmer. We were I, supposed to read a different book. No, I'm reading it. I swear to God. And it would have been better. I swear to Blob. I'm reading. Swear okay, to Blob. here's the next book and I'll say it on live <laughs> so that it's solidified in concrete. It's called Inside Outside or Outside Inside. I don't know because I <laughs> forgot. <laughs> but it's literally it's definitely one of those. In out. And it's an idiot, it's an outie. All right. So anyway, what we're gonna read next is a weird sci it's a sexy sci fi. No, movie. but when you say sci fi you think know. aliens, right? No. This the Terminator was sci fi. Well, okay, let's Okay, you know how there's always like these fucking religious touches, <laughs> like your parents and religions always touching you in yeah, these dude, sexy I books understand. and the narcissists and the controllers. What the fuck is wrong? Please, for God's sake, someone help these authors who write sexy novels for females. Like, you know when you go to the porn site and it's like um, popular for women? I know. Okay, when you go to porn sites mm -hmm. and you go to categories, yeah. do you okay. not go to categories? No, I scroll the front I, pages. Okay, I scroll the first front page, maybe mm. click on page five. And I then always go, try to pick out the funniest looking thumbnails. And then you go, <laughs> no, listen, because all of them say step now. I can't click mm. on anything. Oh, yeah, I got, it's you hard to get away from that shit. so fast. Okay, so here's what I do. I go and I scroll the first page and I might click page four or five just to see what's older. Then I click categories mm -hmm. and I think about, if you want to know, Mm -hmm. Buy and orgy and um, yeah, I knew that's what you and at. then um, cartoon like yeah, I knew anime that too. The tentacle <laughs> stuff yeah, yeah. yeah. you're in all that weird shit that's okay cool. um and when I say buy I say buy on both mm. sides sorry I like watching the weird shit that you're not into well I'm just yeah no it's I like, don't like dudes legit that's exactly all. so I mean I, I like watch... understand that other dudes like dudes like hey do yeah. your thing I, so yeah, I watch weird shit me. right yeah. so I watch weird shit okay but not like the weird lame <clears throat> normal weird shit like I want to watch weirder stuff <laughs> um, okay so there's categories and you can choose whatever the fuck it was we were talking about this is like extra content because I forgot where I was going the ADHD we we're talking about porn for some reason. Narcissistic porn? You're telling me how you look up porn. Categories. Yeah, but then you because you were looking at like all the crazy shit. I know. Oh, and you just lost it, huh? Yeah. Well, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, if nobody's ever clicked on categories on your porn site, your favorite go to porn site, click on categories, find the weird shit. Like the, okay, here's let yeah. me get on a rant. I don't even think you know what you're talking about anymore. No, nope, here's a rant. Public porn. What? There's a category that was okay, like yeah, in yeah, public. No, no, no. Right, I, right, okay, right. now I know what you're talking about. It's not public.
public anymore. Everybody's too scared. Now, granted, most of the old public porn used to be in like Europe where they were like literally doing it on the fucking street while people are just walking by. Mm -hmm. Now it's like maybe you were out camping, but mostly you're in a car. Yeah. And I'm sad because like that's so kinky. We want to watch that stuff. Bring (laughs) back public porn. (laughs) Like without your sibling. mm, No. Yeah. God, stop it. I'm over it. I'm so over it. Uh, my mom's not my sibling. <laughs> I you were going to say my mom's not my sister. Like, Well, yeah, that's how they do it. This fucking shit is crazy, dude. So anyway, thanks for listening to another episode of Bustles and Bangers. Join us next time for Inside, Outside, Outside, Inside. We don't know whose outsides are going to be on the insides, but somebody's insides are going to be on the outsides. It's happening. Yeah. Love you. Bye. Bye.